the best city skylines to graphics in 2024. Let's get started. So before I get into my graphic settings, I would like to put a disclaimer that you will need patch 1.012 F1 or newer. This patch was from the holiday season around December. The reason behind that is this patch had a lot of city skylines to performance increases so that there would be less pressure on your GPU, aka your GPU will not be running at 100%. All right, let's now get into my city skylines 2 graphics. Okay, so now that we're back in our city skylines 2 game, what you need to do is I'm getting out of photo mode and what I'll do next is at the top right, go over to the main menu and go over to options. Now what I'm going to do is I will go over all of my current settings. So just to start off, very basic, performance preference, keep it balanced. If you want auto save, go for it. I currently do not use auto save. That's my preference, but I know other City Skylines YouTubers use auto save and it works just fine. So you can go with it. That, that, is, that is your own personal preference. So what I'm going to do next is I'm, I went to the top right and went to show advanced. All right, so this is where things get a little complicated. So as of right now, this is my monitor. So the resolution we can't change unless you have a 4K monitor. Anyways, let's keep scrolling down. Maximum frame latency. I boost that all the way up to three. So you can see here, you could have one or you could have three. I boost it to a three. Depth of field mode. I go physical. I just use the physical setting. That is it. I do not make adjustments to it. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. So you, we have the global graphic settings and you can see here, I have it under custom because I arranged my own graphic settings based on the best settings possible in City Skylines 2. So let's go down to, well, you can see here, sorry, I still have disabled dynamic resolution that is still disabled. Pretty self-explanatory when it shows disabled. Next is anti-aliasing. Now, right now I have it under custom. And what I do is for the anti-ailing method, I use TAA. You have a couple more options, but TAA seems to work the best for myself. Now the anti-aliasing quality, I have high, which from previous settings, we were at low. So this is a big jump, low to high, which is absolutely incredible. Now, you can, I have the qual, the cloud quality settings disabled. You can actually use these. I just prefer not to have clouds in my City Skylines game while I'm playing. Um, when I'm taking screenshots, it's a little different, but I, you know, while I'm playing the game, I prefer not to have them, but you can automatically put that at high if you really want. Again, that is a personal preference of yours. I just prefer while I'm playing and recording videos not to have them on. Now, next, fog quality was previously disabled. And with this new update, we are going to hit enabled. I mean, you have two options, disabled or enabled, but make sure it's enabled. Next, volume metrics setting. Previous graphic videos, we actually had this disabled. But what, I'm, what I have on is I have it on low, then I budget 0.2 and then a resolution depth of 0.7. So like I said, big difference. The previous settings we had disabled, now we are moving it to low. Next, we have ambient occlusion. This was previously also disabled and we're gonna put that to high and we'll have the maximum pixel radius of 80. We'll have the full screen effect and step count of 16. So, all right, that is two big jumps from the previous updated graphics. Now let's go into illumination, the global illumination quality. Now I have it set at low, which that is, um, I found that my game runs absolutely amazing at these settings. And my ray steps is at 32, denoiser radius at 0.8, then the half resolution denoiser activated 
Use second to Norzer pass activated. You can see by activate, I mean check marks. And then the depth of tolerance at 0.1. So much different. This was also, I believe, um, disabled last time. So re reflection. So reflection is high with transparent reflections on and then a maximum race step of 64. Awesome. Now we're about halfway through our settings. Depth of field was previously disabled. And now we're gonna keep it at low for the time being. Just keep your near sample count three, near max radius two, fair sample count four, then far radius count four, and then the, oh, excuse me, far sample count four, and then far radius five, and then keep that at quarter. So I do not have high quality filtering on just yet. I I've used it and I just, I rather keep it unchecked for the time being based on personal preference. Next, motion blur was previously disabled because it would lead to crashing games. What I like to do is I like to have it at low. You can keep it disabled, but low seems to make the flow of the game just look a little bit better. Now let's move down to shadow. Shadow quality, previously we had at low. Currently we are at high shadow quality with terrain cast shadows enabled. Perfect. This is this is where the graphic settings of high and everything like performance wise from the last patch is showing you like City Skylines 2 is making major, major, major improvements. So if we go down to terrain quality settings, it's again at high. Previously we had it at low, but now we can move it back to high. You're gonna notice me repeat a lot because previous updates were at low and everything now is high settings, which is absolutely amazing for playing City Skylines 2. Now here is our water settings. So water quality settings high. Previously it was low. Enable water flow, which you know, if you want your water to be moving down the stream and stuff like that, you can have it or you can uncheck it. That's that's a personal preference. Now, this is where things get amazingly interesting. Level of detail is at custom. The level of detail distance is actually maxed out completely. If you put the setting at high, the level of detail distance only goes to about 80%. Next, Crossfade, make sure that is enabled. Now the max light count, make sure it is at 8,192 with the geometry catch rate limit of four gigabytes. Make sure that is completely maxed out and use those settings to a T. Next, we have a, only two more settings go. The animation quality. Previously, this was, this was medium settings. I thought it was low, but this is previously medium, medium settings. Now use high. And the big difference you want to use is four bones. I, if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know the difference. I just know that four bones gave me the best performance here in City Skylines 2 graphics wise. Lastly, we have the texture quality settings on high. And we're using a zero MIP bias with the filter mode of trin trini near filtering make sure you use that the bilinear one i'm not a fan of but try near filtering that one has worked the best so here are the best sitting city skylines 2 settings at, in 2024 as of right now please let me know if you have any comments in the comment section below but thank you guys for watching i've honestly since the update Look, I have it. Well, I have a lot of high rent issues, but you can see here, my city is flowing amazing. Like I'm turning my screen, I'm moving it up, round, all about. It's working absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you want more City Skylines 2 content. Thank you very much. Have a great day.